Welcome back everyone. So we are designing a branch line coupler in microstrip technology and what you see here is the ideal schematic. I mean a schematic using ideal transmission line in Pathwave ADS and the corresponding simulation result. This is what we did in the previous tutorial. So now we are going to convert each of these transmission lines in the uh, microstrip and for that we will have to select a material. So uh, I have used this uh, Rogers uh, 4003C so many times. So this is what we are going to use. So the dielectric constant is 3.55. The uh, dissipation factor is uh, 0 0.002. And these are the information we'll need. Then also I'm going to use the 60 mil substrate or 1.524 uh, mm thick substrate and one, one ounce of copper. So let's go here and first of all do file save as and BLC uh, micro strip. micro strip and since there will be just so many versions you'll see we'll do the tuning and optimizations it will create just so many versions I'm just gonna call it V1 excuse me and press OK so this is now another schematic BLC microstrip version 1 and if you go to the main window here uh, you should be able to see the previous ideal schematic here and the ideal ideal result here so now let's go here in this BLC schematic and let's go ahead and change this to where that line is coming from maybe from PDF that I have opened. So, okay, so let's go ahead and, uh, sorry, tools, and we are going to use the line calculator because that's what we'll use to, oh, I should have public, okay. Let's go here and use the MLIN, microstrip transmission line, and fill in these data. So, we just saw that the design DK for this is 3.55 so that's what we'll put here here dielectric constant is dielectric constant 3.55 and then the thickness is 60 mil and copper thickness is 35 micron micrometer one ounce of copper conductivity of copper is 5.8 times 10 to 7 dandy is 0 0.002 I don't bother about the, that last figure here 0 0.002 then roughness there is a data sheet where the roughness information is you know available but for this tutorial I will ignore the roughness value of this substrate and I will change this to 1.5 gigahertz then the line that we wanted to simulate here if you look at the some of the transmission line that we are dealing with is uh, 50 ohm so let's change this 50 ohm, sorry, 50 ohm, and the electrical length is 90 degrees. So at least ideally the width uh, you know, doesn't depend on the electrical length, but it does a bit. So synthesize, and here you go. You have the uh, this much. So to, re to, to realize a 50 ohm transmission line of 90 degree uh, electrical length, you must use a micro corresponding microstrip line of you know this much width and length. So what we will do is we'll go over tools, line calc. In another tutorial, I have discussed how to convert, like you know how to do this exercise. I'm not just uh, delving too much into this. So for now, what I will do is I will just delete this, delete this one, and just sorry, controls. Control R to rotate, make it vertical, and put replace that 50 ohm line with this real transmission line for now. And then let me go back here and change this to 35.35 uh, and synthesize. So that's a very thick line. Lower the characteristic impedance, thicker the corresponding. Uh, corresponding microstrip transmission lines. So we'll just go ahead and delete these two because we just found their microstrip equivalent. Microstrip equivalent. Control C, Control V. Sorry, escape. Oop, what did I do? 
that was wrong press okay so now what you will see here that it has two substrate definition and these two substrate definition are the same so i will just go ahead and delete one of those and change this to one because the the two definitions were the same basically so this is how you handle this and zoom fit so now we have um converted each of these right and now just as an exercise i just wanted to show you that the the width of the ideally the width of the transmission line doesn't depend on the electrical length but it does slightly so let me see 50 ohm we have already done for 50 ohm 90 degrees let's see what how it looks like for 50 ohm and 20 degrees so if you look here uh very slight very slight i mean if at all uh dependence uh you will you'll find yeah, in general so I, I, it means that I can just go ahead and use 132 sort of, you know, the, the corresponding width for 50 ohm transmission line. So go here, simulate, sorry, layout. Nope. Tools, line calc, place new synthesized component. So that's my W50, the, the 50 ohm transmission line width. So I'll just uh, delete these things. Let me, sorry, sorry, go and check 1.5, 50 ohm, 20 ohm effective length. Uh, probably we need, we need more, but for now we'll just ignore that. I will, I'll talk about that more later on, that how much length actually we need. This we just got, because this length doesn't matter that much, except that is for, for connecting. But you cannot take too long line, like, you know, it will cause unnecessary loss over this transmission line. So we'll, we'll talk about that length in a moment. So th this way we have converted the ideal transmission line based uh, BLC into a micro strip equivalent. Uh, the only problem is that normally when we have this kind of junction, T junction, we use uh, something called um, T, T lines MT here to connect these you know the transmission lines yeah, whenever you have this kind of corner if you have four transmission line you'll use m cross or something so uh, so we'll come to that you know uh, later on first let's go ahead and simulate this okay let me first see if there's no substrate definition change this to oh, i should have changed this in the beginning one there is just one substrate definition and they're all equivalent so i just let remain one substrate definition and change this to m sub one all of them all right so just double check m sub 1 m sub 1 m sub 1 m sub 1 and let's go ahead and simulate this and see at this moment how it you know the result compares with the ideal um, uh, ideal result so just go ahead simulate and here we have and i don't just want to go and repeat the exercise that we did so what i will do here is i will do control a and control c and maybe minimize this and do control v here okay so well not too different from what you got earlier remember that this is the data for you know blc micro v1 and the corresponding ideal data is here blc ideal so it's not too different i mean you can just in, in fact if you wanted to compare this side by side what you can do is you can just go ahead double click on this one from here you can choose ideal and then the plot s11 for that one and s41 as we did earlier in add and that way you will be able to compare so they are not too too much different except that here you see a much better deep so i will just go ahead and delete this for now okay. all right so uh, so so far so, so far so good again like you know there i i don't see much difference between the ideal result and this micro strip version so this uh, you know we, this is a very nice news because uh, we don't have much loss in this transmission line. Now, in the next, I wanted to let this, uh, these tutorials, you know, a small, uh, like, you know, the a small, you know, uh, subset of tutorials. So what I will do is I will stop here. And in the next tutorial, I will introduce how to use MT so that, uh, you know, you can make a nice connection and, you know, the uh, uh, seamless connection here at the, these uh, junctions. So whenever you see these junctions like this T, or uh, you know that m cross or the four always use those kind of elements so let's uh, stop here and we will return back to this